Right, I've started off by printing my logo onto a scrap piece of paper. It doesn't matter about flipping the orientation on the computer because I shall be tracing on top of the image rather than the back. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with pencil over all the black parts, leaving the white parts. I'm also going to leave out the lettering because I think that'll be too delicate to go onto the stamp. Now you'll notice that I've made the teeth of the saw blade a lot thicker than there was on the original image. That should give me enough room to get the Stanley knife in to be able to cut it. This is what I'm going to use to make the actual stamp itself. It's called a lino block. I brought this myself off eBay. It cost about £2 so it's not that expensive. Now I'm going to take my logo, what I've just covered with a pencil. I shall square it up to the one corner and apply pressure on the back to transfer the pencil marks onto the line or block. Now when you do it, make sure the paper doesn't move. You can check your progress. Don't worry if it hasn't all transferred like in this because I'll now be going over with Biro and I'll be able to use my original image as a reference to see where I've missed. Now I shall be removing all the blank parts that aren't covered with Biro or with pencil. I could cover in these sections here but I can always look at my picture it saves a lot of time I know where I've got a cut I'm going to be using this tool to cut the line or block I purchased these off eBay as well I think there's about £1.50 you get five different cutter heads and the plastic handle the one that I'll be using the most is the thinner gouge type cutting implement there is also this sharp edge sharp edge tool but I think I'll be better with my Stanley knife there's also larger scoops and gouges that can be used to remove bulk material I shall now use the sharp knife to score round all the edges and then I'll use the gouge to remove the material always remember when using a sharp knife be careful keep your fingers out the way of the blade I shall score round all the edges because I think this will be a bit boring to watch on video. I'll come back and I'll show you starting what it's like removing the material with the gouge. I've now finished scoring it all with the knife. I've left the outside edges though because I'll do that after I've removed the material from the inside. I can see what I've got left to work with then. Now how I start it, I look for a corner where the score lines have met. And I'll try and slowly ease the gouge in. And lift up the edge. Now it shouldn't tear out because of the score lines. But be careful, don't put too much pressure on. Because it's very easy to slip and take a big chunk out. I'll do this section to show you the technique and then I'll come back once I've got all the material removed. As you can see, it's been removed now. As you can see, I've got the larger portions removed now. I've just, just thought that I'll show you 
how I go about chipping out the smaller pieces. Rather than using the pushing motion of earlier, I prefer to just dig it in a bit and try and flick it out. So I'll just tease the edge in, lift it up. And that should be deep, deep enough for the stamp. I've now got all the internal pieces removed. So I shall now score the outside edges and remove the bulk of the material from around the outside. I shall cut a rough square shape, but I'm not going to be too bothered about it being accurate because I can square up the edges later when I go to place it into the wooden handle. I've scored all round the outside now and I'll remove the bulk of the material. Just finished the stamp. I'm now going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. Now I'm going to use my ink pad to do a test print. Now, when I've got the wooden handle on, it'll be much easier to get an even pressure. But I'll just try now with my fingers. Now the moment of truth. I'm pleased with that. It's much better than spending £40 anyway. Now what I'm planning to do with that blank space there is whenever I stamp one of my projects, I'm going to sign the inside with the date that it was made. So for example, all the projects that I make this year, I shall stamp inside with 2014. Now all I've done to make the handle is glue up four scrap pieces of hardwood. Because I want to leave the base of the stamp square, I've added a piece of self-adhesive paper because I haven't got any masking tape left. I've added that so I know to stop at that point. The reason I haven't just put a pencil mark is because it's, I find it hard to see when it's on the square. So I'm going to turn the other part of the handle now remembering to stop at the piece of paper. I haven't long had the lathe so please don't copy my technique, I'm still learning. As you can see my technique definitely isn't very good. Hopefully I'll be able to sand that out. I think I'm happy with that soil, so I'll give it a quick sand now to try and even out the rough marks. I shall now saw that off and finish the rest of the sanding with my orbital sander. Now that I've finished the handle, it's time to glue on the stamp itself. 
Now I've trimmed the edges so it fits. I'm just going to use wood glue to stick it on. Now it shouldn't need any clamps because the suction pressure of the glue itself squeezing out seems to hold it firm enough. Just make sure to clean up all the glue. As you can see I've got some in one of the gaps. If that fills up, obviously that's going to ruin the stamp. I've got a little bit impatient and I haven't waited for the glue to fully dry. But it should be cured enough to keep it on the, on the wooden handle. I just want to give it a test print. There's your result. I'm really happy with that. Like I said earlier, the blank space in the centre, I'll be able to either sign my name or print the year, just either with a marker pen or even pencil, and I can seal that in with some spray lacquer. Once the glue has fully dried on the stamp, I shall give the handle a coat with spray lacquer, and I'll put a picture at the end of the video to show you the finished result.